Now in this video we will study about the how to use the property of capacitance to make capacitors. Now capacitors are physical devices, they are electrical devices which are based on the principle of capacitance. So let us understand how we make a capacitor and what is the use of capacitor. Now if say we have a metal body and we have given a charge Q on it. So we have a metal body with charge Q on it. So because of this charge there will be some potential V generated on the point on the surface or on the point just outside the surface. Now the capacity of this body is equal to C which will be given as Q by V. So this is the capacitance of this body when it is isolated. Now let us say we bring another metal body which is uncharged in the beginning this metal body in the vicinity of the first charged body. Now we, this, since this body does not have any charge and when it is brought closer then what will happen that this positive Q on this metal body will induce negative charge on this surface of the second body and positive charge on the far, far surface, the far side of this body. So you can say that because of induction a minus QI negative induced charge is generated on this surface and positive induced charge is generated on the far side of the surface. Now because of this there will be some potential on this body. So because of minus QI another potential we can say V uh, we can take it as VI minus will be generated on this body and because of plus QI also there will be VI plus generated on the first body. Now since minus charge is closer to the first body than the positive charge so we can say that VI minus will be greater than VI plus that is the positive that is the potential because of minus charge will be greater than the potential because of the plus charge because minus charge is closer to the first body so it will have more potential. Now, now if we uh, try to write the formula of this system this entire system so we can take the new capacitance as C dash and we can write it as Q upon because the Q the metal uh, the original charge Q does not change on this body so the charge will be same but now the new potential will be a combination of these three potential and not just V. Earlier we had only V but now we have V plus VI plus and potential due to minus charge. This will have minus sign because the because it, it will be in opposite direction compared to these two potentials. Now since negative potential Vi minus is more than the positive potential since it is more then we can say that the denominator of this equation is lesser than the denominator of this equation. That is the potential, the overall potential of the system has now decreased and since potential is inversely proportional to capacitance so we can say that if the potential decreases the capacitance will increase hence C dash is greater than C. So just by bringing another metal body in the vicinity of the charged body we have increased the capacitance of the entire system. Now can we increase it further? Let us say that we join this part of the second metal body with earth. Now what will happen is that the electrons from earth will flow and they will cancel these positive charges and the only charge that will be remaining here will be negative charges. That means the plus QI will vanish and the only charge remaining will be minus QI. So that means if we now look at this denominator then the this potential will vanish because of the vanishing of plus charge and the only potential that will be remaining will be V minus VI minus. So we can say that after the earthing of the second body the denominator is reduced further. So the new capacitance let's say C double dash will only be this. So this denominator is the smallest of this so we can say that the capacitance has further increased by joining by removing the positive charge from the second body. So this way we can increase the capacitance of body and 
this is the basic principle of the manufacturing of the device called capacitor a capacitor is nothing but a combination of two metal conductors with in which one one conductor will have a charge on it given from the external source and another will get a induced charge because of the charge on the first body and this way we can increase the increase the capacity of holding charge on the system and hence the capacitance will increase so this device is called a capacitor.